The police investigation into the SNP's missing money continues to cause a headache for the party as Police Scotland have now seized a very expensive camper van from Peter Morrill's mother's house. Yes, a new evidence has been collected and seized by the police and this one is uh, more public and more visible because all the other stuff that they've collected from Nicholas Surgeon and Peter Morrill's house or SNP headquarters has not been really publicised. Uh, we don't exactly know what's going on. They've collected some laptops and other stuff uh, to go through. But this one is a bit dodgy. Um, we can't really uh, create new accusations, but... Uh, it's the job of the police to finish the investigation. But at, at the same time, if it is what it is, the whole situation, not only makes sense, <laughs> but also it will be very, very criminal. So look at the couple. They have denied and denied any allegation into any sort of financial corruption, let alone even complacency or incompetence. So look at this photo. This is a motorhome or a camper van worth £110,000. Now, this was uh, seized this week from outside of Peter Morrill's mother's house, Margaret Morrill. The 92-year-old was uh, keeping this uh, motorhome on her driveway. I mean, she's 92. I'm pretty sure she wasn't using the motorhome herself, right? So somebody put it there. Okay, <laughs> maybe it was a gift. £110,000. £600,000 is currently missing, at least. And uh, that camper van is worth around £110,000. Interesting timing as well. But okay, we'll find out what's going on. Let's actually get into the details of this car, so-called car. Uh, because it is so luxurious. It's very modern. It's very futuristic. Uh, we have the images, by the way, from inside the camper van. <laughs> it's lovely. I would love to live there. Basically, it's got electric shelves. It's got a compressor, refrigerator, drawer, brilliant. It's a, a felt line walls for coziness and mood lighting. It's absolute. Also, look at the image. D don't tell me this is not perfect uh, for me and a YouTube background. If I sit there with that backdrop, with that nice cozy lighting and everything else, it would be great for my YouTube channel. I think Peter Morrill and uh, Nicholas Sergeon should gift that to me because I think I can be more useful. Uh, with, uh, with that than uh, uh, Peter Morrill's mother. <laughs> anyway, uh, the, more details about uh, what's inside this camper van. Fully functioning kitchens and shower rooms. Brilliant. Why not? A huge boot fitting, being able to fit two adult bicycles. I mean, that's just the dream. I know that power corrupts. But when I see that, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely disgusting, by the way, jokes aside. Anyway, uh, one local witness in the area who lived near Peter Morrill's uh, mother's house said uh, it happened at about 9 a.m., which is about the same time they started raiding Peter's house, I think. Uh, they did not go into the house as Margaret is quite old now and they would not have wanted to disturb her. They couldn't get into the motorhome at first because it was locked. And it had clamps on it. Oh, wow, okay. So, they had to get some keys from somewhere. They went off, but came back and managed to get it open. Then, they loaded it on uh, the back of a huge lorry. And after a bit of trouble securing it, took it away. The tight-knit community surrounding Mrs. Uh, Morrill, whose husband, Peter's father, Henry, passed away in 2019, last night, uh, rallied to protect the neighbour. Yeah, but your neighbor's son is a bit dodgy, isn't it? <laughs> it's so bad. But I'm glad all this stuff is coming out because I'm glad that Police Scotland and the establishment are finally feeling the urgency to do something about it. Again, it makes you question a lot of things about the timing of this investigation and all that. But tomorrow we're going to be focusing on the the recent SNP's leadership election because... Uh, there are questions being raised about the legitimacy of that uh, election that resulted in uh, Humzu Useless becoming first minister. That's going to be a bit juicy as well. So well, what I would suggest is uh, you go and enjoy the rest of your Easter weekend with your lovely family members and friends and neighbours. I'm Maya Tusi and we 
are the media.